Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, goodness. Uh, very, very nice to be here. Thank you very much for coming. We at Intermusica are delighted, of course, to be hosting the co-hosting the opening ice icebreaker um, together with the city of Zurich. And as part of the celebrations this year in the, what I can only describe as the gleaming renovated Tonhalle, which I think in a sense symbolizes renewal. Renewal that we all dare to feel after two such turbulent years. Uh, I'm sure you'll all feel the significance of being here at the conference this year, the first time perhaps we've all been able to come together in such large numbers, notwithstanding Copenhagen. And I think it's particularly significant in light of what we now know is the war raging on Europe's borders. And with the pandemic still lashing its tail at us, the last thing the world needed, of course, was that kind of devastating conflict that is now going on only about two hours flight from here. Uh, the, the impact of all this, of course, on the Ukrainian people is beyond comprehension. And the effect on Ukrainian musicians is also devastating, of course. And in trying to do something constructive to help on the musical side, Intermusica has invited and sponsored to the conference the attendance of Tatiana Kalinichenko, who is the artistic director and the conductor of the New Era Orchestra in Kyiv, uh, an enterprising ensemble which has been performing contemporary music and other music, both international works and those by Ukrainian composers. So we are delighted to welcome Tatiana here with us. And uh, Tatiana is here, of course, to, to not only uh, represent her country, but also to start talking about partnerships. Uh, a number of the members of her orchestra, the male members, are actually fighting. And one of her great tasks, being based now in Vienna, is to help them to come out of Kyiv and to reform her orchestra and to develop its future plans. So do please take the opportunity of meeting with her and speaking further. Um, one small side thing I'd like to say is whatever we all do in a small way to support this, let's also not forget some Russian musicians who may be strongly, indeed completely against the war being waged in their country, and yet who are not receiving fair treatment at the moment in the West. And I think the cancelling of performances by artists purely on the basis of their nationality is something that should never be part of our creative culture. Finally, I'd like to just to say a word about us. And by that, I mean our profession, artist management, which I am, of course, represents and this conference reflects. It's been, needless to say, a challenging, torrid, and indeed, in many cases, pretty devastating time for agencies. There have been casualties along the way, and many artists, as well as managers, have had their lives turned upside down by the pandemic. Some haven't survived. And perhaps this week is a moment to not only trade amongst ourselves, but perhaps to just to celebrate the resilience and the tenacity of many of those in this room who fought to maintain their businesses and the interests of their artists throughout this crisis against often impossible odds. You all have my admiration and respect for that. And never before, I think, has the role of artist manager been quite so essential, indeed crucial during the crisis. And also in many cases more visible and, dare I say, even appreciated for its role in the industry. <laughs> Uh, it's not a role where we very often get thanked, either by artists or by those who necessarily work with on the other side. But let us take a moment tonight to appreciate and thank all those colleagues who've been with us through these past two years, and also to IAMA to thank them for helping us navigate through the last two years of the pandemic. I wish you all a wonderful conference. With us at Intermusica today, 
Simon Ada, who has joined us as Managing Director for Business Development. Some of you will remember him from Pentaturn. We're delighted you're here, Simon. Um, we all look forward to meeting you and to furthering our mutual aims in what we hope, no, which must be a brighter future. Thank you very much.